All right, guys. Starting this week, I've decided that I'm going to come out with a weekly recap session of cryptocurrencies. And the reason for this is hindi na enough talaga na nakafocus lang tayo lagi sa PSE. It's good to be open and it's good to be accepting of new possibilities and new ways to trade and I want to explore this market further with you guys now the way that I do it okay and this is not the way that others may do it this is not the way that you may do it but the way that I prefer to do it is I always start by looking at BTCD so what's BTCD BTCD is market cap BTC dominance. Now, if you look at it here, nung pataas to, ito yung run-up ng crypto na nag-create ng new all-time highs. Then, tong pagbaba na to, yan din yung pagbaba ng crypto. You will see later that BTCD tends to have, um, kumbaga, medyo leading effect sa crypto. Okay? So, nung tumaas to, naunahan niya ng konte bago tumaas yung Bitcoin. Nung bumaba to, naunahan niya ng konte bago bumaba yung Bitcoin. And ngayon, meron tayong divergence because Bitcoin is going up. We're back to 50 plus thousand. But BTC dominance is heading down. Okay? What this means is kapag ang BTC dominance pababa, Usually, mga alts ang mas gumagalaw. So, what this tells me heading into the week is my focus should be more on alts if I'm looking for bullish plays. And if I was looking for at BTC, I would be more focused at a possible range plays or shorts. Okay, that's not to say na hindi tataas yung Bitcoin. It's just that based on etong market cap dominance niya, uh, baka lang hindi pa siya ready tumaas ulit. Okay? But again, that said, meron tayong divergence. So, medyo wild card ng konte Anything could happen. No? Now that we're done with this, let's take a quick look at Bitcoin. So, sa Bitcoin and for most others ang tinitignan natin, I am using the Binance charts. And the reason I'm using Binance is, alam ko karamihan yan din yung broker kasi. So, I wanted to have a, a standard point na medyo pare-pareho sa lahat. ba? Kasi kunyari, namili tayo ng ibang chart, baka may week na malaki dito or may week na malaki dyan, so hindi magiging pareho. So, the most standard way that I could come up with was to just use Binance charts. Now, obviously, uh, Bitcoin is looking bullish. Diba? We had this run up, pulled back down, hindi siya umabot. So, personally, I was looking at this na makabalik dito sa mga previous areas of uh, resistance around this area. Hindi umabot, you know? nag-pull back tayo, nag-hold tayo around 37,000, then we pushed higher na. Okay? We pushed higher. Then, on this day, ang nangyari was, we tried to break higher. Ito, nag-double tap tayo dito. So, if you look at this here, itong area na to, may double tap tayo dyan. We tried to break above it. Bumitin, no? We closed below. Then today, we're trying to break above it again. Diba? We still have 20 hours left to go. So, for all I know, by the time na maparoon nyo itong video na to, na-break na yan, nasa 53,000 na tayo. However, at 53,000, we do see a strong level of resistance that was previous support. So it was support here, 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 no? Acted as resistance here, resistance there, support here, resistance there. So hindi malayo na ma-expect that if price should get there, may possibility na mauntog dyan and magkaroon tayo ng pullback. Whether that pullback is shallow, meaning mag-range lang tayo sandali dito, or pullback is deeper, hindi ko alam. Okay? No one knows. We just have to watch it. All I know is, during weekends, typically, mas iliquid ang crypto uh, currencies. So, mga moves usually, kung meron man, uh, mas impulsive. 
All right. Uh, next, let's take a quick look at Ethereum. So Ethereum, again, very bullish. So um, I was focused at crypt uh, Bitcoin at that time. Kaya hindi ko to nabantayan, no? But it also broke out of this level here sa 2.4. Pulled back. Halos sakto, no? Nag-hold tayo dyan as support. And then we pushed higher. Unfortunately, as I said, nakatutok ako nun sa uh, Bitcoin at the time. Kasi nga, I wanted to get that pullback. So I missed this. So kapag meron sa inyo nakasalo, congratulations. Uh, I'm sure happy na kayo ngayon. We're at 39 and it looks like we're gonna push higher. no? So the reason why we're having some troubles here is kasi ito yung area of previous uh, consolidation before. Dito tayo nag-consolidate. Dito nag-wild ng konti yung price. Diba? Dito siguro yung maraming may naipit. So baka may mga lumalabas at as Ethereum comes to this area. Okay. Honestly, for me, it would be healthier if mag-pull back muna tayo. At least dito man lang sa 3.4 to 3.2 na area. Diba? Mag-pull back tayo dyan. Tapos hanap tayo dito na kung mag-hold yung support, then we push higher from there. Para lang mas may legs. But as I say that, I also realize na nag-consolidate naman tayo dito bago tayo nag-breakout. So, baka uh, mas negated na yung need na yun. Okay? So, uh, personally, uh, I wouldn't be very eager na humabol dito sa middle of nowhere. I would rather see it pull back or break all-time highs uh, before trying to catch a move. Kasi usually, pag ganito, yung nasa mga areas of consolidation yung bumabalik. Parang ganito, may consolidation, bumalik tayo, naipit dyan for a while. So, mahirap eh. Mahirap to determine. Dito lang mas clear yung call to action dahil we broke out from this range sa baba. But here, wala eh. Diba? Yes, we broke out from here. So, for me, uh, the most obvious or the cleanest move would be a pullback, see if it holds a support, then see if it pushes higher from there. Okay? And then, let's take a quick look sa mga alts na, no? Kasi nga, based sa BTCD, baka nga sila yung mas gagalaw over uh, Bitcoin. Right? So, let's take a quick look at everyone's favorite sa, ano, SLP. So, sa SLP, uh, tuloy pa rin yung move natin. No? So, if you're looking at it, what it's doing is, so, nag-high tayo dito, low, lower high, low, lower high, low, lower high, low. So, we're looking to see muna kung may magbabago. Kasi possible na itong area na to, mag-act na naman siya as lower high, then we push lower from there. Diba? If we push lower from there, hindi ako magugulat kung ma-challenge tong support at 0.9. 0.097 and if mag-break yan then baka bumalik tayo sa all-time lows which is 0.0614 okay now what I want to see here uh, let's look at sa lower time frame ng konti na sa 4 hour what I want to see is for this area to actually start holding kasi sa 4 hour uh, so let's just take off these other drawings no Sa 4 hour, if we look at it, nakuha na natin yung gusto natin eh. Nag-low tayo, nag-form ng higher high, di ba? Ito yung high, higher high. So, we're looking to see if mag-form ng higher low dito. To try and see kung kaya bang i-preempt yung move earlier on a possible move up with the expectation na alts nga yung mas gumagalaw. Di ba? Natataon na yung SLP, medyo bugbog. So, I'm not very eager to jump in. I want to see bullish structure print dito sa area na to to confirm na talaga nga, ah, oh, sige, pwede nga, no? baka may reversal tayong makuha from here. Then from there, maybe we can break above 0.1513. Diba? See if we retest, then see if it goes higher from there. Diba? That would be the safer and more conservative play for me. If you want to be aggressive, then you might consider na yun nga. Uh, kung mag-hold tong support dito, then try to enter, see if it holds further, cut below here, then see if it can pull higher. If ayaw niya, if sabihin natin na, o oh, sige, nag-hold nga yung support, pero nag-form lang tayo na parang right shoulder here, then bumaksak siya, cut ka na ng mas maaga kasi parang pumangit na yung price action. Parang instead na mag-print siya ng higher high, nag-print na siya ng low dito. So, since parang ginagawa mo kung nataon man is very aggressive, tinatry mo unahan, then 
that's what you want to do. You want to exit aggressively then. Because it's either the idea works or it doesn't. Next, let's take a quick look at AXS. So AXS, uh, we're ranging at the highs, no? Uh, and usually, pagka situation, um, I don't like to participate. But let's look at it sa lower time frame to see kung meron bang opportunities. So, kahit sa lower time frame, ang nangyayari lang is nagiging mas clear lang yung range that we're trading at, which is from 67 hanggang 83. Uh, yes, you can range trade this, but where it is currently, kasi nasa gitna siya eh. Diba? Nasa gitna siya more or less ng range na to. So, uh, what I would want to see, if I wanted to try and push for itong highs, is at the very least, mag-break man lang to ng maayos, tong level na yan, mag-break na maayos, then we can at least attempt, kumbaga nasa higher end na siya nung half, at least attempt to see kung pupunta siya ulit dito sa highs natin. Diba? But again, if you, the more conservative play for me would be just to wait for a breakout or a proper pullback. So for the pullback, balik tayo sa daily chart, no? Para lang mas clear. So uh, for me, a proper pullback would be something like babalik tayo somewhere here. Okay? This holds a support. Then we start to push higher. Then pwede siguro tayo mag-test buy ng content. A little bit aggressive, but Nakita natin eh, that we could print another higher low. So, ito yung previous higher low mo. So, baka ito yung next na higher low. Or if not there, maybe a bit deeper kahit na hanggang dito sa area na to. Valid pa rin. Then, we see from there. Mahirap magsabi na, oh sige, kunyari, nag-test buy ako dito, magadagdag ako dito kagad. Kasi depende yan kung paano bumaba yung structure. Eh. But overall, uh, Axie remains bullish. Okay, obvious naman to everyone. In, <laughs> to everyone, no? Axie remains bullish. So, ang tinitignan na lang natin ngayon is potential opportunities to get into the trade. And then finally, let's look at uh, Doge. I mean, I think it's pronounced Doge, but if I'm wrong, please feel free to let me know in the comment section below. So, Doge, uh, we're cu currently consolidating here, but we did break out of this small uh, range dito, no? Itong range na to. We broke out of it momentarily, but we still ended up closing beneath it. So, if you want to be aggressive once again then you're looking for a possible na uh, breakout from the range see if it can hold above there then we push higher targeting the high end of the range then if mag break tayo dyan, then maybe 46 your next okay but uh, right now where it is parang uh, let's look at its lower time frames para mas clear parang medyo mahirap lang kasi parang you're trapped in the chop eh. Even if sabi natin, you broke out, so you want it to break out na from this level here, no? Uh, kasi nga, uh, nag-form na ng high. So you want to see break out there, go here, target there. Kasi dito sa gitna niyan, essentially, you're still uh, going into tong uh, possible resistance sa to eh, na previous support. So, dyan nga tayo nag-resist, diba? Nag-resist tayo ulit. So, pag bumalik, baka mag-resist na naman. So, you want to see price clear that bago natin masabi na, ah, okay, sige. Uh, mas, may, mas may signal na. Pero as is naman, for me, uh, it looks it's looking bullish kasi parang we're printing low, uh, high, higher low, higher high. So, so, baka ito na nga yung low, no? Baka ito na yung higher low na hinihintay natin. Then, from here, baka ito na yun. Naghanap na siya ng low dyan. From here, it pushes up. But let's see. Let's see. All I can say is kasi, I'm just making my assessment based on this particular structure at this particular moment in time. Diba? Had it been different, kunyari, ganito yung itsura niya, then yes, maybe I would have said na, oh, sige, pasok tayo dito, pull back dyan. Sakto, no? Nag-pull back tayo dito sa previous area of uh, resistance, then push higher, then basically what we're doing now, waiting game na. Pero as is, diba, given new data, we want to wait and see what this does para lang yung entry natin, mas maganda yung timing. Diba? Sino ba naman ang gusto na papasok ka, tas maka-experience ka pa ng matagal na drawdown? So you want, we're looking at the possibility of timing it better. Alright? So that's it for our weekly cryptocurrency recap, no? Um, if you like it, 
um, if may natutunan kayo, if this is something that you want to see moving forward, I would really appreciate it if you give this video a like. It's it's the best metric I have para ma-determine ko na yung ginagawa ko ay kubaga sumasang ayon sa gusto nyong makita from me. Kasi syempre, kaya naman natin ginagawa to is gusto ko rin na makapag-provide ng content na nakakatulong sa inyo. Okay? That said, lahat po ng pinag-uusapan natin dito is purely for educational purposes only. Alright? Hindi po to trade advice, hindi po to investment advice. And if you do take trades based from what you learn from this video or any other video that you see, you do so at your own risk and with no liability sa kung sino man po ang turo sa inyo. So guys, good luck trading crypto. And as always, happy trading.